We're going to use the weldments feature in SOLIDWORKS to learn about weld symbols and weld joints. Uh, this file I have right here I'm going to allow you to download. I have all of the joints set up in different configurations here. I don't know if you've used much of the configurations. I'll give a little bit of a crash course on these as well. Um, it's all the same file and you can quickly double click on all these configurations to show and I got them set up for different types of joints. Uh, we'll cover these in a minute here but so mainly what we'll be doing is using the bead weld and then from there use this smart weld selection tool so pretty obviously let me switch back over to I'm going to use the butt weld for my demonstration here uh, so this is one of the weld types well weld type preparations is what, we're, what they're called so I'm going to cl click on the bead weld do the smart smart weld selection tool and then I'm just kinda kinda scribble on it and it selects most of what I want. I want on the pink here I want this surface too. There we go. So from there with those selected we'll go into the define weld symbol. So I'm gonna go over some of this with you um, first, this these che three check boxes here. Well, two of them are the same. So around will add. So this is your arrow, which will point to where the weld's going, and this is your reference line, which will where all of your weld symbols and other information will li uh, lay. Uh, all around, around means that uh, this isn't a good example of a part that you would use that on. But if you had, say, a a plate and then a tube on top of that plate you could use that all around to say that the weld goes all around that and it doesn't have to be circular it could be if it was a square tube on that tube you could point at that edge and then use all around it mean go all around that contour or uh, profile um, this field site flag here that just means that instead of doing this in a shop that weld's going to be out on, in the field or site. I never used it at my job, but that was always in a plant, so that would always been inside, I suppose. Uh, these, so this is this is always going to be the size of the weld. So on this this uh, example here, uh, that's going to go down. The size is going to be. Uh, point let's see I made this a quarter so yeah this is a 0.125 sized weld and then here's all the weld symbols so I have a, a handout called weld symbols that lists all those there are also you can find those in the hardcover book but uh, so I'm gonna cover nine of the ones listed on the handout the fillet weld the plugger slot the square weld the V the bevel U J, flare V, and flare bevel. So going down that list again real quick, that's that's your fillet, that's your plug slot, this is your square, this is your V, this is bevel, this is U, this is J, this is flare V, and this is flare bevel. The the shapes of these symbols match up to where the weld is going. So as you can see on mine here, I have a straight edge here and an incline there. So like I said, it matches up to what that shape is. So there's your bevel uh, weld symbol. If I were to have another bevel on this side, I'd click on up here. So I'm, if my arrow is pointing here, my symbol is going to go on the bottom. If I need it on the other side of it, I'm going to click on the top side. So I would click on this here and that will make if I left that on here, let's just say okay real quick. So it's got where it's pointing to, that's this. Up here, that would be the other side of it, but obviously we don't have anything there, so we'll take that off. 
think yep so if you want to take those off you just click on it again and it'll take it off this is the length or and the pitch so the length of the weld if I did not want it to go the entire length of this part I could type in how long I wanted it to be um, there's also what they call um, intermediate let's see if I thought there was something on here but so if I wanted it this is just nonsense basically but one inch the welds one inch and with the spacing of three inches something like that so before our situation here I'm just gonna leave that blank um, this is the contour of the weld so you have flat convex and concave which it's kind of self-explanatory uh, I never used it in my job but if the shape of the weld needed to be def uh, defined flat is pretty self-explanatory the top of the weld would just be flat there's also flush meaning that the weld would be flush with this these surfaces concave convex which would be kind of an arc to it uh, arced out from where the weld was and concave it would be arced in uh, then the finishing method is just how they would achieve that shape which are once again those are fairly self-explanatory what those would mean um, second fillet uh, this was a bad example for that but it would actually it just adds another uh, the fillet symbol here Let's see if I can sh if that shows up there you go uh, meaning that it w you would weld it and then they would do a fillet weld there but you wouldn't be able to do that on this example um, something like a T T joint you could have it beveled in they'd weld that in and then they would add another fillet weld on top of that weld I'm gonna take that off the root opening is right here the space between what's being welded together if they're butted up against each other you could put the zero there or probably just I I never used a root opening in any of the weld symbols I ever made in my at my job we usually just butted the material that was being welded together next to each other so I would if that was the case then you could just leave that blank uh, and then the groove angle which these are the groove welds groove welds are the square V bevel U J flare V and flare bevel um, so this is at a 45 degrees uh, once again another situation where I never really used that but if you needed to de de define what that angle is you can type it here um, joint with spacer is just like as it sounds there would be a spacer in between these joints um, another situation of what of something I never used in my job but there it is available for you if you come across it um, I said the top part of this is the same as what we just went through here it just if you had the weld on the other side um, that one I don't quite know what that does uh, it doesn't seem to do much um, this here will add the tail to your weld symbol which is just um, let me zoom out here well, let me just type something that we would always use at my job, which uh, was always TYP, meaning this is the the weld that would be used almost everywhere on that particular assembly or part. Well, usually assembly. So you can see it adds this big tail to it. There's other information you can put in there, um, but for now, we'll just leave that blank. And that should that'll take that tail off. There you go. Um, I'm gonna remove the groove angle here as well. So the goal of this assignment is I want you to create. I hit check there. For each of the, your our joints. Okay, so that's something. I'm gonna look into this here because I was when I was playing with this this gets kind of annoying I'm gonna see if there's a better way of handling this but what it's doing is I just took away what that 
weld was, so it lost its references. If I right click on, let's see here. There we go. If I right click on it and go configure feature, let's see if this works. This will pop up. I want this weld symbol to only be unsuppressed with this butt bevel configuration. So if I check this and hit apply, that should remove the error. Let's make said I might have to look into this for you to make sure. So I found a way to make it so your new weld symbol won't cause failures as you switch between your configurations. It's not necessarily the smoothest uh, process, but it's a lot smoother than what I was showing earlier in the video. So I'll do one more uh, weld preparation slash weld symbol with this butt joint. Um, I'll quick do a flare bevel on this. So if I went to, so I either can cut it out or even just use, <clears throat> I don't have that on this one. Go to features, fillet, and then just create a fillet on oop, this edge. I'll set it to an eighth and check. Go back to the weldments, create a weld bead, draw my path, scribble, 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 and let's add this face in there too. Scribble, scribble. There we go. Now, if I go to define in there, that was an eighth inch uh, fillet, so we'll leave that there. And then that is the flare bevel, which, like I said, the symbol for it should always match up with the shape that you made for the preparation. So click there. Uh, root opening is again a sixteenth, and it doesn't really have an angle because it's an arc. Uh, I'll leave that as I'll leave that blank. So there, that's good. Check. Now, if I go over to my model tree here. Let's put this fillet up in the butt joints. Let's put that right underneath there. Yeah, when I first dragged that up, I think it, oops, I put that in there. If I drag this up to there, it actually just put it underneath the folder. I want it actually in the folder. So I open, oh, dropping down on the folder, I can drag it underneath that last part in the folder. Okay. So, if I go up to weld folder, now I have the flare bevel weld. These are all named, uh, going to be labeled what type of weld type and the size of it. And that's going to be for each type of joint, so if you're looking for them, it's all been categories, categorized automatically for you. Alright, so I'm going to right click on this weld, configure feature. Uh, I'm not sure if I need this, but, well, actually, I don't think I do. Let's see here. So this rebuild active configuration, I'm going to set it to rebuild all configurations. And that's going to show those all red. Now, I think if I go, oh, I missed a step. One second here. I need to create a new derived configuration. So, but... Got my caps lock on, or I don't. There we go. Butt joint, and I said flare bevel. Yep. And okay. Let's go back there now. And flare bevel. Right click, configure feature, rebuild all configurations. I want it suppressed on everything but that one. Oop. And rebuild again. I think that makes them all black. And it still says red on those, but we'll see. Say apply. 
Okay. Now if I swap between something's going on with these. Uh, rebuild. Huh, why is that? Oh, this needs to be Let's see here. I need on that one this to be suppressed. There we go. I assume we could do a similar thing to what I was just doing with uh see your configure feature. Let's rebuild all and then set this fillet there to only be unsuppressed on the butt joint flare bevel. Apply, generate, that should be good. Okay. So that's a pretty good uh, handy little tool to make this less of a pain. Uh, I think that's everything I need to cover. So now if I swap through these, these are all He's all good. Yep. All right. So the goal is going to be to create. I'm going to go to T joints real quick, which I'll have to fix that thing I was just dealing with. Close. And. Oh, come on. Configure feature. Check. Apply. Okay, so the goal here is I want you to do four of the different types of weld symbols on each of these joints. I have, a, I have a hand, another handout called, I believe it's called the prep, oh no, uh, basic joints. That handout shows you what uh, types of weld symbols are apl applicable to each of those joint types. So I want you to pick out four to apply to each of those joints and then also so do the preparation so like I had on the the butt joint here with the the bevel I want you to have four different types of the preparation so I did that I was just a chamfer for the bevel so I could do the same thing here chamfer click there an eighth inch check it uh, I've been keeping mine organized so this chamfer will go into my T-joint folder here and then if I switch back over to this here that will automatically okay so that's T-joint but I don't want all T-joints to have the bevel so if I right click here and do add derived configuration I can do T-joint bevel and then check. And that will add underneath that T-joint configuration the T-joint bevel configuration. So which I can, if I go back over to here I want to make sure on just the T-joint that this new chamfer gets suppressed. So now sw swapping back and forth okay wait so now it's not on that one right go back over here right click on it unsuppress so now on the T-joint bevel it will always show that so Double click, gone, double click there. Then I'll go up to weld bead, click on my smart weld, and then I'm going to just scribble on it. And then once again, I want, uh, that's fine. As long as you get that, if it looks like it's got a weird angle to it, see if you need to add another plane to it. But for this one, that's fine. Then I'll do define weld symbol. It's an eighth inch chamfer, so the size of the weld would be an eighth. I'll leave it full length so I can leave that blank. And then I'll just click here. And I want that to be a bevel. And OK. And there it is. Uh, I suppose uh, actually we would actually need to include the root opening, which I think I have set to a sixteenth, and then we can also apply the groove angle to it, which is 45. So there's your root opening, which is 
this space and the angle which is obviously the angle so give this a go let me know if you need any help obviously I will make help in class or make a new video going into more depth of how I want this assignment done.